Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I am taking another look at Heptabase and I'm looking uh, at how I organize things inside of Heptabase. So there are several different ways you can organize things inside of Heptabase. I do it in several ways actually. So I have my para inside of here. I have my archive, my ongoing projects, and these are probably the two uh, ones I use the most. Uh, I have my personal social media and here I just list up a lot of different social media ideas. Then I move them into my projects when I'm actually working on them. Uh, especially blog posts and YouTube videos, I tend to move into my projects, not so much with LinkedIn posts, I just write them inside of here. But if I have a big YouTube video or a big blog post or something that needs a little bit of research, I will probably put them inside of my projects. My resources board, I'm actually not using this at all. It has a lot of things inside of it, uh, but I am honestly not using it as much. It just exists as a place where I put every single one of my resources. So I tend to visit this every time I need an idea, not necessarily to find something specific, but if I just need an idea, I will probably look inside of here. I also have a personal thoughts uh, board where I just put my own personal thoughts inside of here and ideas I have and just things I want to reference and use in the future. I just put them inside of here. Then we have my projects and I have uh, YouTube videos as its own project and I have different YouTube videos inside of here. I haven't actually been able to get done with any of these things. Uh, I think I'm done with this one actually. So this will be moved into archive. So I just move them into archive and they still exist. If I want to go back and look at different projects I've done before, I can easily go into my archives and check that out, but they aren't here cluttering up my space. So I'm working on this note taking app video, which still has some work that needs to be done. Uh, and I have a lot of different note taking apps. This is taking a lot of time. And if I want to search for something specific, you can actually search inside of your whiteboard as well. And um, as you can see, inside of my archive I have different boards so this is not something I tend to go into but if I have a similar project a similar video to something that I've already done I will just take a look into my archive and that's how I use the whiteboards the same goes for people I have people so I have my I have authors I have family members I have just people placed inside of here I have my job inside of here, I have my clothing brand inside of here, and I have, this is a project. So I uh, have uh, different projects inside of here as well, but these are going to be moved into projects because they are ongoing projects. But what I store inside of my areas pages, things that I work on every single day, is just facts and things that I need to be easily accessible uh, if I am looking for something. So I would probably store uh, brand colors inside of here. I have different apps I am looking into and planning on using inside of here. There are several different things you can uh, store, but I have chosen to do it this way. And every time I have an actionable project, I will just move them into my projects, as you can see here. Then I also have my card library, and a lot of my cards have different tags. Uh, so I have the Zettelkasten system, I have a lot of note-taking app, uh, apps, I have my video ideas, my uh, social media ideas, all of them are different cards. So I have a lot of different cards inside of 
here and all of these cards can be reused and they can exist in multiple whiteboards so every time i've archived something i can find the specific card either by searching for it so if i search for note taking um, i tend to write my notes so they are easily searchable so for every single note-taking app I, I have written that it is a note-taking app just because every time i search for note-taking i want to find all of these apps so i tend to uh, write my notes so they are more easily found through search i use search a lot but another thing i use is actually different tags um, there are a lot of different tags here and you can have a lot of different tags simply because simply because it is easy to group them inside of here so let me show you my social media ideas which i have shown you before so as i said linkedin post pick uh, toxic productivity is a social media post and i tend to work out of my uh my uh, databases and tags i don't work out of this so every time i'm looking for an idea i have time to film something or i have time to work on something i jump into here to find different things and here i have every single one of my ideas i have my done ideas i have uh, a kanban view of my ideas uh, so I have multiple different ways of viewing ideas. The same goes for books. I have my books inside of here. And these are books I am done with. So I tend to only have books I am done with inside of here. Not necessarily books I am planning to read. Uh, then at last we have the AI assistant. So if I can't find something or I am just... Uh, starting a new project and i am looking for relevant cards i will just put a question into here and it will give me all of my cards so let's say so let's say i wanted to ask how you can take better notes as you can see here it shows me a lot of the notes around note taking you take notes the way you want, note-taking, the capturing habit, note-taking organically, even Notion came up, Tiago Forte on note-taking systems. So I get a lot of inspiration just by asking my AI some questions. So that's basically how I organize things inside of Heptabase. There are, again, several ways to organize things, but I never feel overwhelmed because I have multiple layers of organization. And... Honestly, even though this looks like a lot, I am not using this at all. So I only create and use uh, whiteboards for projects or things I'm actually working on. And a lot of my projects aren't too big. I never get over 50 or 60 cards. Uh, the only one is this one where I have 56, but it isn't a problem because I'm actively working on the project every single day. So that's how I set it up. Uh, and again, as I said, this one is just if I need an idea, I can jump into here and just look at a lot of different notes and some of them will spark a new idea. So this is mainly for brainstorming. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope to see you again quite soon.